Welcome to this video tutorial that answers the question, what does a graphics tablet do? Okay, a graphics tablet is simply an input device. Other input devices include keyboards and mice. So it's an input device. It inputs information into your computer. Uh, as I said, the mouse does it, so does the keyboard. But the graphics tablet does it with a difference. The difference, okay, I've got four differences here, and there's a lot more than that. First, it's a natural feel to use a uh, pen and a tablet. You've been doing this most of your life, from the time you went into school, and even before then. Secondly, it's comfortable to use. You don't get that bad wrist uh, from using a pen. You do from getting a mouse, or from using a mouse all day. Third, it's pressure sensitive. So as harder you press on the uh, pen on the tablet, uh, well, then you're going to change the dynamics of what you're doing according to what you've selected. Now, it sounds confusing, but I'll show you what that means. And fourthly, you've got some resolution here, really high resolution. Uh, the least, the smallest amount of resolution with a tablet is a thousand dots per inch, okay? That, that's, that's high resolution. When most of your mice are, uh, what, 300 to 400 dots per inch, Unless you're getting a laser mouse, but or a laser mouse, but most people who are using a uh, mouse are using a, a, a poor one like that. Okay, so those are the differences. And flat out, you know, the last thing is that it's just an awful lot of fun. You can have a blast with this, especially on your digital imaging projects, and that's where most people are using them. So let's go and take a look at some of these things. Now I'm going to get a different brush here, make it a bit bigger and we'll use that nice color here. Now I can set the way the brush reacts in Photoshop and that's what I'm using right now. I'm setting it for size so the harder I press the larger the, the, the shape will get or the, the brush will get. So you can see it's going up to the maximum size I've chosen and that's 34 pixels. And I can just do little things like this. And you can see the resolution too. It'd be, you'd be hard pressed to do anything like this with a mouse. And we could even color our mouse. Ooh, that doesn't look very good, does it? Okay, so that's uh, that's size. Another one we've got available to us is is called uh, opacity. Everybody knows what opacity means, and uh, we'll just go with a different color on this one. So the opacity is well, I don't have it set up right. Just a second here, I will fix this. There we go. That's a mouse opacity. This is a tablet opacity. So you can see it's going from very faint to very dark, depending on how I have it set. So now I can go over here and just kind of paint in this little mouse to my heart's content. A nice yellow mouse, isn't that, uh, well, whatever that color, it's an awful color, really. So that's uh, the, the size. And, and you can go from foreground to background color if you want. It's one called Color Dynamics, and you'll see this on the... Uh, uh, later on in the in my site, it shows you how to do this or how it works. You go from the background color into the foreground color, and this has got something else going on in it. But hey, that's okay. I think maybe that's where it is. Yeah, there it is, right there. It had some jittering going on. So that's what a graphic tablet does. It makes your digital life so much easier. I'm going to turn all these on again. What a mess, huh? Uh, it makes your life so much easier when you're working on digital photographs or you're working on painter. Um, it's now got a, uh, the ability to do handwriting in Vista because Vista added four or five different functions that take advantage of a tablet. So there's a lot of reasons for owning one and uh, if you don't have one you're thinking you should then pop over to my order page and uh, take a look there because there's some pretty good merchants who are selling the tablets for some pretty good prices. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something from this. I hope you've learned just what a graphic tablet does. And uh, thanks for watching.